hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing something a little different well a different style I should say than I've ever done on my channel and I really wanted to do locks faux locks but the last time I did it it pulled out my edges they were way too heavy on my head because I have naturally thin hair so I wanted to try the crochet style and I was going to do just the regular dread looking ones if that makes sense like I know there's a goddess uh, dreads and then there is just the regular Marley dreads and I went to the store looking for the regular ones but I couldn't find any and I found these and I just decided to give it a try you know it's more feminine in a sense and it's I like the curly style so I just thought why not um, and I tried out a new brand um, well it's the Vivica Fox brand uh, give me one second let me go get the box okay so people in this house decided to do a spring clean and not tell me so I don't have any more of the packaging left over but I'll insert a picture in the video or probably um, I'll put some links down below and then on the thumbnail I'll probably put a picture of the brand itself and it'll be in the title anyways but so this is the Vivica Fox um, Fox Locks, yeah, I think she called it Fox Locks, and it's in the uh, curly style with these little spirals on the bottom. Uh, I got it. I got five packs. I originally thought four packs would be enough, and for some people it is. Like if you want it a bit thinner, but I got five packs because I like my hair to be thick. But this is actually four and a half packs because uh, I had taken a break when I was putting this in and. When I came back to do my hair, I lost my tool, and you really can't do it without the tool. With the, you really can't do crochet without the tool. So, I'm basically left toolless until I can find it, or I'll just buy another tool and then just add the rest of the pack at the top, just so it can make it a bit thicker. Because I hate spacing in between um, braids. But for now, this is good, and these are extremely light, by the way, guys. This is four packs in my hair, and it is super, super light. Like, it's not heavy at all. The only issue I ran into is I braided my hair so tight underneath that, like, at one spot, it's pulling at my, um, at my scalp. So I've been uh, moisturizing it every day, and as the hair grows, I know it's going to loosen up, but... That's something to watch out for. I always do this no matter what style I'm doing. I always seem to always over braid my hair thinking that I'm doing it loose until after my hair is done and then it's tight as heck. But other than that, I really like it. I got five packs like I said. I got um, a four, a two, two number ones, and I think one B. Yeah. So um, I did want to try like the 27 or 33 blonde, but I thought for my first time, I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I'll just stay with like more neutral colors but I don't know if you can tell but you could kind of see the number fours they kind of look like a bit of a highlight which I don't mind and I did add some jewels and some string in it just to give it a very festive Caribbean vibe I'm really really liking it uh, what else it's uh, the brand itself I really like like the ends have not gotten matted and I have had this in my hair for already a week and the curls did drop at the end, which I'm happy about because they were really spirally and that kind of was throwing me off because I was just like, I'm not trying to look like no, you know, curly Sue. That's not what I'm trying to do, but I guess you can like untangle the ends so that it could straighten out and be like frizzy and then you could probably um, add some gel at the end to keep the hair together. But I just knew since I'm going to have this in my hair for four weeks, the curls were going to start dropping and getting more matted anyway. So... I would just let it do it itself instead of doing it now and then have it looking like a hot mess later on. I find that the longer you wear this hair, the more natural it looks because your roots will start growing out and stuff. So it'll cover up the the tracks and stuff. Oh, the method that I did. So I didn't just do um, the cornrows and crocheted on it. I followed some of the other YouTubers um, advice and I kind of just braided the perimeter it was lazy I just braid did one row in the front and then one row at the bottom in the back next time I'll probably do two rows all the way around in a circle but we shall see I'm really lazy and so far I'm liking how this is looking like I don't really care that people know it's crochet it's, it's a protective style for me and especially with um, this style I find that 
once the root starts lifting you can't really tell the difference and especially if you braid well like my braid is a bit bumpier than i would have liked i got lazy and did fatter braids but if i braided closer to the scalp it probably would have been a little more seamless so i did one row of braids in the front run one row of braids in the back and then at uh the top i corn rolled eight braids going back and then i did the zigzag method for the rest of it and the reason that I did that is my experience with uh, crochet from the past is whenever I just do cornrows straight back you really see the line of partition after you do your hair which I hate like I kind of want it to fall down like you know they look just like braids so they fall effortlessly with no gaps so that's why I did the um, zigzag method in the middle and the back just so it could just fall seamlessly and then in the front I did straight back so it could look like a row of braids like I basically align them with the front braids if that makes any sense to you guys i think i showed it in the video of me doing the style i'm not sure but if i didn't that's basically the style and if you guys want i can uh, re-record this when i do my hair again but i found that it really made it very seamless um i'll show you the back of the hair Y'all, this is not good without a swivel chair, but I'm really sitting on a uh, little stool right now. Uh, disregard that little board in the back. I'm, I'm working on something right now, and I forgot to take it out of the background. But yeah, so this is basically the style. I hope you guys like it. It is 18 inches, which I'm about 5'5", five five, so this is where it reaches on me. Yep, don't disregard my little shorts there. And oh, how cute is this top? I find whenever I do styles like this, I want to be more like bohemian and just like earthy and whatever. So with these styles, I get a little bit more bold with the makeup and the clothes and stuff like that and the earrings. I have never, never worn hoops this big before. And boy, like it's already touching my neck. And I know that I'm probably going to take this off, take this off soon but i'm liking it for now and i hope you guys like it too this is very like bronze goddessy you know this is definitely my mood all 2018 all summer 2018 and y'all it is so good to be able to just wake up and just not have to do anything to my hair in the morning like most of the time i wear this up in a top knot in a bun but for the video i wore it down i wear it down if i'm going out but because i have the baby and she loves to pull I just like to wear it up so that it's up and out of the way and plus I go to the gym too so it's just easier to have it in a knot all the time. The only thing is when I'm driving I have to take it off and then put it back in when I get out the car but I don't mind. But yeah so this is the style. I'm really really loving it. I think it suits me really well. I am going to do this style again in September. I'm going to Jamaica so I'll probably do this style in September. I'm taking this out I did this a week ago, so like the f first couple of days of June, and I'm going to take it off the first week of July and do my hair for my birthday month. Go Cancers! <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to do, like I'm really trying to do the crochet protective style method all summer slash fall winter because with me trying to get my edges back together and trying to get my hair back together, uh, thanks to this postpartum Carol, no jokes. Um, I just find that crochet would just be easier because I can try different styles and not damage my own natural hair and have it braided up underneath which is great and you know I'm tired of the weaves I'm tired of the blending I hate frontals because I ain't got no forehead so by the time I have the front frontal on I got this much space left and people could tell the difference so I'm just like you know what I'm not even gonna do it to myself so we're just gonna rock crochet for a while and it's fun like I like to experiment with my hairstyles anyways um, but yes, the next crochet style I'm going to do is going to be really simple and it's just going to be the um, Kinecolon hair and I'm just going to uh, do it straight and crop it into a nice little bob for my birthday and then I'll wear that for a month and then who knows what I'll do in August and then come September I'll do this again with some blonde highlights just to see how it's going to look. But yeah, I'm blabbing. I think that was it. If you guys have any questions. Oh, the press of the hair. It was it wasn't bad. It was eight seven ninety nine a pack, so eight dollars a pack times five packs, forty dollars plus tax. So forty dollars for this hairstyle, and you can pretty much keep it in for so long. Like I know some people who keep their 
hairstyles in for two to three months I get bored so I can only do one month and then I just want to take it off but you could really uh, with especially the faux lock styles I find that even like the longer it stays in your hair the more realistic it looks the better it looks unless it's pulling off at the thread or whatever but I don't think it should be any issue for anyone to wear this longer than a month I just want to do something else for my birthday month but I'm really liking it it's really nice and yeah that's pretty much it so if you guys have any questions comment down below and until next time I'll talk to you guys later bye